Hey, good day. On this channel here, we have gone over frames per second, aperture, ISO, even white balance. But today we're gonna to look at something a little bit different called the histogram. Little chart there is on your cameras, and most cameras have, that you go ahead and see the color balance. It will show your shadows and your highlights. And you always wanna to try to bring it a little bit towards the middle area if you can to show your midtones, but it doesn't have to be perfect right there. So today, let's go ahead and take a look at the histogram. Let's get started. Now, if you have your camera right there in front of you and you have your histogram opened up, if you see the little peak mark moving off to the left, it means you don't have enough light and it's underexposed. It's moving into the shadow range a little bit. Now the opposite is true if it moves over to the left. You see the peak moving over there, over to the right. That means it's overexposed. It's got too much light. So let's go ahead and take a look at a histogram off my camera here. So we're going to flip places here. I'm going to go ahead and switch it around to where you can see the camera filming right now. And I can show you my histogram. So let's real quick, let's switch around here. Now looking at your histogram here, if you look over on the left side over here, this is going to go ahead and show you your dark parts right here, or your pure black. And if you come over to the opposite side, it's going to show you pure white over on this side. And if you look right inside your histogram there, there's little grid lines in there. If you come just one over from it, that's going to show you your shadows or your dark parts. Move over to the dead center section here. If you get a spike or anything in there, that's showing your midtones. And over here, it's going to show your highlights or your bright parts right here. As you can see right now, it's getting a little spike over on the highlights parts right there towards the white shown right there in that part. And what it's picking up is it's picking up the normal white we see right in here. So as I move the camera here, watch how it changes and how it seems to balance out. Now it's still picking up. Look, it's really starting to spike up on some white here. It's picking a reflection coming off that sign right now as we're moving around. Now as we get right about the center screen, it should start to balance itself out a little bit. But as you can see, the dark parts, or it's picking up is on the darker areas here. It's, it's actually starting to come into the scene now. It's actually picking up on, because you're actually losing a lot of the wall brightness from there. So as we move it around, see how it balances out. Still staying because a lot of bright light coming in off this window here. But I got the window here because I want to go ahead and bring that in. Now you can see all the white and light coming in, see how it's peeking up so you can go ahead and read it there. And you see, you're not seeing too much dark. You get a little bit here, but it's still getting a lot of reflective off and it's just that sign. So there's really not anything showing up. But now if I move into this window over here, watch what happens. Actually, you'll notice everything's moving towards the dark there. What's happening there? Let me move it right into, we focus right on there. And now look what happened. Actually, the camera, even though we're looking at a very bright subject right there, the camera actually has focused onto the blinds and everything there and onto the outside. It's trying to focus on that window. So it has went ahead and blown out all the rest. We've lost all data and everything right there. So when you see a spike like this here on that side there, it's unrecoverable. All the black sides, so it's showing it. So that's going to let you see. Even though we're looking at a bright area, it's actually the camera where the camera focused it went ahead and we've lost it on there. So if we move it back, and as you can see, it's starting to move back towards the white into the mid-tones again and stuff. And it's sort of balancing itself back down again. Something to think about too is not only do you focus on just a dark area right there, as we can bring it down here, we're actually bringing it down. See how it kind of balances itself out right there a little bit better. We're kind of coming into the room that way. So those are the things to think about is if you even move towards a bright area and your camera focuses on it and then it goes ahead and darkens up the other areas. Same works in reverse too. That if you move into a dark area and you may end up seeing it. You really won't see a problem too much with the dark area. It's more coming with the, the bright area you see right there. So things to think about when you're looking at your histogram and trying to get your readings on it right there. With your histogram, one thing you got to remember is there is no ideal setting. There is nothing perfect on it. The chart swinging one way or the other inside there. You got to think about it is if I'm filming an all dark surface or something that's all dark, its course is going to be over to the shadow side right there. So the same thing is true as if my light, my background has a lot of light and it's really bright, white walls, something like that. It may be a perfectly good shot, 
but in the histogram it's going to go actually show you is too much over to the white side there so it really depends on what you're filming the same as when I swung it towards the window there it hit that window and started readjusting for the focus all of a sudden the whole room turned dark you got to watch those things there too but just remember when you're doing a histogram it's a tool that's in your camera and it's a good thing to have open so you can kind of see how your balancing are there and if you're swinging over into the shadows there if you're looking to say like trees off in the distance or something and it's showing off into the shadows really dark you're probably losing some data on there so when you see the dark places in the branches and stuff like that they won't be able to come out really clear or stuff or you can't get any detail into them same with the white is if you get it where it's too bright and if you turn the zebra stripes on in there and you start seeing the zebra stripes you've lost all the data on it for your white part and it's unrecoverable when you do it in post so those are things but just remember the histogram is just a tool to go ahead and show you what your balance is and what's happening there it's always a good thing to use so you can kind of find out what your shots are like right there so if you like the video today please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up took a good look at the histogram today and if you want to see more just like this Go ahead and hit the little bell down below the notification to go ahead and see get it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel that's always important there so i hope you have a great day i'll see you in the next video talk to you later